Hello guys, welcome back to Comic Book Cafe. We are reviewing Secret Wars Battle World issue number four. Again, one of the many, many crossover books in the Secret Wars uh, crossover. Uh, so this is kind of a two different stories in one book. The first story is Silver Surfer versus Galantis. This is a retailing of the origins, in a sense, uh, for this reality, this version in this reality. Again, Secret Wars has a bunch of different versions of the same characters supposedly running around. So this Norman Rand of this certain region. So, and this is a little bit different take. Go ahead, it's the same story. So he is a herald of Galantis. Galantis is a devourer. He's always hungry. And he agreed to be his herald to do this, of course, to save his loved one, which Galantis has in some kind of ruby-looking thing. Okay, crystal-looking thing. And to save his village, where Galantis is at. Anyway, so we start off with him hunting, or being bait for, was it Fing, Fang, Foom? Uh, he's known as, if you know him in comic books, he's the dragon, uh, you know, one of the main, one of the enemies of Iron Man in Iron Man comics. So in this case, he's an alligator who's devoured thousands of people. He just comes off as a creature, not as any person. So Silver Surfer plays bait. He chases the Silver Thing away from, you know, where he's comfortable at. Uh, in this place, there's high places, and you see Juggernaut jump down and club him over the head, and then Silver Surfer uses his power and basically defeats him. Uh, Juggernaut takes the teeth as part of the deal. Silver Surfer takes all the meat, of course, and, you know, says he hopes to meet work with Juggernaut again. So, anyway, now that that's all done, uh, he, you know, he basically slices up the creature and Hurley takes it back to his master. And while he's taking it back, he kind of tells you the whole story, you know, he became the herald to save his village and his loved one and that sort of thing. So... If you know the story, you know basically most of that. I don't have to go through all of it. Basically, he, he becomes the herald to save his loved one in his, you know, his place he lives at. Just like any other telling of his origin story. But, he looks more zombie-ish when you see Galantis. You only kind of see his, really see his head. You don't see much more of him. And when Silver Surfer shows up, he, Galantis is hungry. is so strong, he basically uh, has devoured everybody in the village. Uh, leaving like skeletons, including Silver Surfer's loved one. Silver Surfer snaps, knowing, realizing that everything's changed, and basically he destroys Galantis. Uh, and that's it. That's all we get. That's a simple little story, right? Now we get to the meat of the story, the one that is on the cover of the book, and that is Silver Surfer's basic, was it, Mastro, the evil future incarnation of the Hulk that has been teased in comic books for a long time now. Except is a reality, of course, in secret, the battle world. So you see a guard rush to Mastro and say, you know, we need your attention to the Lord. He says, you know, why are you bothering me kind of thing. He's like, we have an intruder in the vault. He's like, how do you get in the vault? There's no way you can get in the vault. He says, use beams to open to open the vault. So he says, nobody does this. Get 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 a you know, get an army and let's and I'll meet you, meet you down there. And he gets down there and he runs into the sofa server. Now, this is where you get confused with They're talking about the old reality or this reality because they clearly know each other. And, and Silver Surfer, you know, was like, Hi, Hawk, you know, uh, having son of their days together on the, with the, as defenders uh, and that stuff. And, and you know, uh, Hawk's like, I'm no longer him. I'm Mastro now. And they get in a little fight because. Uh, Hulk doesn't want to, Master doesn't want to give up what he has in the vault, and Silver Surfer he wants it, and you find out it's Silver Surfer's board, and Hulk's like, I'm not giving it to you, Doom gave it to me, and they get in a big fight, though it's kind of one-sided, because Silver Surfer kind of never really seems like Hulk has a chance to, or Master has a chance to really beat him, though he gets a shot in here or there, uh, but he gets the board out, he heals the board because it's damaged, you know, the, the Master does this big clap thing, and he's like, are you done? Uh, do you really think I've flown into suns for fun to see what, you know, see what's going on? You think your clap's going to damage me? It basically ends the story with telling the uh, Hulk show, uh, hopefully we don't meet again or next time, you know, 
I'll basically have, basically have to hurt you. Uh, two different stories, and you wonder if these are the same two Silver Surfers because they seem uniquely different, uh, uniquely different personalities. Uh, good at heart, but still different. So Silver Surfer quickly came to get his board back. Didn't really answer why he's now come back for his board and how long has he been gone without his board, you know, what's going on. Uh, and they didn't really delve into their history, just like, hey, we were, we were part of the Defenders together kind of thing. So not really much but two little short stories is what these really were. Not much to really build from them, not really much to go, well, this is what's going to happen next. It's just, that's it. Uh, a simple little book of short, two short stories. Uh, the first one was rather interesting because it was a different take on it. Uh, didn't hate the art style, but didn't like it either. Just wasn't my kind of art style. Uh, but it was an interesting, again, different take on the same origin story. Basically, it was the same origin story with the same result, except he beats Galantis. And Galantis seemed like a zombie. Another one, Master over Silver Surfer. Uh, almost painting-like uh, comic book style. Uh, I liked it, but it, in my brain, it always seemed a little bit off to me because of the way it like wasn't like what I'm used to as a comic book style. But uh, I did like that these two had a history, and they, they it was a little bit of fight, and it was for something that mattered to the Silver Surfer. But again, neither one of these filled in a, a lot of like holes. Like, okay, this one ended, and you don't know what's going to happen in the future for this one, and this one ended, and you don't really know what. Except for them to both fight, there was no point to the story. It wasn't even really a fight. It was just, hey, these two guys are fighting, and there really wasn't much of a fight. So, But again, if you like short stories that of this world, or if you like this Secret Wars, then you're going to pick up this book again to add to it. Uh, if maybe this adds to something Master and Silver Surfer down the road, maybe this matters when they get into the, you know, down the road as we get to the end of Secret Wars, or maybe this matters when we get back to the real, I don't want to call it real, back to the new Marvel Universe, maybe some of these people carry over and remember Secret Wars. We don't really know yet. But uh, what do you think of this book? I thought, again, I thought it was all right. I don't call this a top book. I call this, hey, if you're collecting all the Secret War stuff, you, you're you going to get this book for that. Uh, and, uh, hey, here's a Master over Silver Surfer that I someday don't like. It'd be a trivia thing. Did you know that Master and Silver Surfer fought one time? And you could rely, talk about this issue. But other than that, really not a lot here. Anyway. Let it hear you guys' opinion on this book is also, and I will do another review soon. Later, guys.